What's up guys, my name is TikTubo here for Troubleshoot and today I'll be going through a really quick video and that is how to install and use Oxide on your Rust game server. So this is part of an ongoing series on my channel about hosting your own Rust servers and managing them properly. If you'd like to see more videos, especially on how to set it up and get it working, you can find the playlist link in the description down below. That being said, this video relates specifically to installing Oxide on game servers. In my previous videos, I went through Archoning into the server and getting that to work, so you will need to learn how to do that in order to proceed with this video here. However, once we head into our game server's account, you'll see a page similar to this with the Rust server you've paid for over here. As long as it says active over there, great, we can proceed. So let's go ahead and click on the mods tab in the far right of that listing over there. Then you'll see this page over here with a history of mod installs down here. So that being said, I've got my Archon tool over here, and as you can see, it's currently connected to the server, and it is running properly. When you install a mod over here, your server will shut down completely, you'll lose file transfer access, as well as Archon access until the server comes back up again. Of course, any player on the server will be immediately kicked. So, on this page, we'll go ahead and find where Oxide is listed, and as you can see, it's over here. Oxide 2, V2, etc, etc. Description, install Oxide 2. All we need to do is simply hit install and then hit OK. Then game servers will give us this message. We'll hit OK and we'll be taken back to the server list. My cat is losing it in the background if you heard anything while I was speaking there. Anyways, let's just go ahead and wait for this to come back up. If we look at the Rust server console, you can see that we are disconnected from the server and we'll have to click an X on that message until it's back up again. If you have this tool set up properly with the auto reconnect setup under configuration, then it should connect as soon as the server starts running again. So we just need to wait for that to happen. Going back to the website, I'll simply hit F5 to refresh the page. Of course, you can also use the refresh button up in the top left of your browser. If we head across to the mods tab, you'll see that Oxide has been installed and it's listed under the recent mod install history. Going back to our console, we can go to server, connect, if it hasn't automatically connected itself. And if you see the screen over here where it just says connecting at the very bottom, it means that your server is currently starting up. You have access to the game server's install panel to install plugins, etc., etc. But the actual server itself is still starting up and that can take quite some time depending on how much it has to go through and load. The bigger the map, the bigger startup time. So I'll go ahead and wait for it to completely start up. So after getting a drink of water, having a quick nap, the server has finally restarted. As you can see, we're connected and we're back on the server. Heading across to the Oxide tab, you won't notice anything new. And console at the very bottom, you might see some new things at the bottom, but you can go ahead and forget they're even here. So at the very bottom where it says type a command to execute, I'll simply be typing in oxide.version and hitting enter. Upon doing that, you'll see Oxide Rust version, etc, etc, written here. If you tried to do this without the Oxide plugin installed, then you wouldn't see this response, obviously. So that means that Oxide is now successfully installed on our server. That being said, we can go ahead and add plugins and add-ons, etc, etc, and get them working properly. So in order to install plugins, add-ons, etc, etc, and configure them, we need a way to transfer files between our computer and the game server's Rust server. How exactly do we do that? Well, the simplest way is using a program called FileZilla and a protocol called FTP, the File Transfer Protocol. So if that sounds confusing to you and you don't know what you're doing, don't feel stressed because there's a video linked down in the description below, which is how to transfer files between your Rust server and your PC using FileZilla. Anyways, my name has been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and this has been how to install Oxide onto your Rust server hosted by game servers. I'll see you all in the next video. Ciao!